Hi, my name is David Brown from Soyuz Microphones, and uh, we're a, a relatively young microphone company, about three years old. Uh, we're based in Russia, and we build everything ourselves. Uh, this is our flagship SU-017 tube microphone. It's um, all handmade. Uh, the word Soyuz is the name of our company. In Russian, means alliance, and we're an alliance of West and East. Like I'm from the West, my partner's from the East. I bring design, quality control, and marketing. And the Russians, who are very, very good at technical things, they bring all of the uh, the technological side. And uh, basically, we build them the way mics used to be built in the 50s and 60s, using manual lathes and drill presses. We make all of our own capsules, our own transformers. Everything's point-to-point -point wire. And uh, a lot of engineers who, who prefer old, you know, U67s, U47s, and things like that, but don't like to repair them all the time, they really like our mics because they have a, a very sweet top end, an old, uh, nice uh, tube sound, but they're new, so you don't have to service them a lot. They're not copies. That's one of the main things, is that I, I had the idea that it would be great to have a mic that draws from an old tradition, in this case the Soviet and Russian tradition, uh, so it's based on a tradition, but it's not a copy of the usual tube mics, like a, a 4767 or C12. It has its own character, but it can kind of sit in the same room with those mics. Yeah, we do all the metal work ourselves. We have our own lathes, our own drill presses, and paint stations. Everything's, virtually everything's done in-house. It's all point-to-point -point wiring. We make our own transformers at the factory. This is also a tube mic with a sub-miniature tube. This is actually kind of in the school of like a KM54 Neumann tube microphone. It's a tube mic. It has a, inside it has a small sub-miniature tube. It runs with a power supply like that. And um, it's beautiful as a drum overheads, acoustic guitars, strings, anything you'd use a, a really nice small diaphragm. And it, it comes with, this is a cardioid capsule. It also has, we make uh, omnis and uh, hypercardioids for this. And then we have over there our FET version of this mic, uh, which has the same capsule, but it's a, you know, a, a, a FET instead of a, a tube circuit. Sort of so this is like the Cadillac of microphones? Yes, maybe even the Rolls Royce. Of mics. But it's, uh, you know, of course it's an expensive microphone, but for what you're getting, it's, it's a good deal. When you compare it to the competition, uh, and all, especially when you compare it to what you pay for a, a top, you know, working vintage microphone. Um, and our target is basically, um, let's say you have a studio, a small studio or, or a big studio, and uh, you're looking to have a great microphone. You know, because a microphone is what transforms sound waves into electrical impulses. So you can't redo that once it's done. You have to have a great source. And many guys, you know, they want to have like one good mic, at least, to do vocals and various things. But it's prohibitively expensive to get uh, a really, really great one. So we thought, let's try to bring it in at a price point where that guy could say, well, I can sell this compressor and do that and work some extra hours, and then I can get that microphone, you know? So it's expensive, but kind of within the realm of reality.